a menu-driven interface lists menu choices that a user can select to navigate from one place to another within a website or software program. A menu-driven interface is part of a graphical user interface and has distinct advantages and disadvantages. Some of the advantages of a menu-driven interface is that they are extremely easy to use. Someone who has never seen the interface before can work out what to do. There are no commands to learn or remember. Step-by-step -step options are given so that the user doesn't have to remember anything. Even if you don't know what to do, you can usually guess your way around the options. Menu interfaces don't have to be visual, they can be spoken, which is good for telephones or for visually impaired people. They, they do not need huge amounts of processing power or memory. It is fairly easy for the software programmer to create the same menus in different languages. The disadvantages are, they are a poorly designed menu interface may be slow to use. It can be irritating if there are too many menu screens to work through. Users get annoyed or bored if it takes too long. You, have, you often can't go to the exact place you want right at the start. You have to work your way through the menu screens even if you know where you want to get to. The menu can take up a large part of the screen so you have to keep flicking back and forwards between applications. If the menu is poorly designed it might be hard to read. For example, writing is too small for people with poor sight, colours might clash and be difficult to read, font style might be hard to read. So there are two types of menu driven interfaces. There are simple menus in which the user is offered a simple menu from which to choose an option. One menu often leads to a further menu. Part of the screen may have an instruction followed by a numbered list of options to choose from. There are also menu bars which is a set of options at the top of the screen. When an option is chosen, a drop-down menu may be offered. So these are easy to use, as the user does not have to remember sets of commands. These are also user-friendly. You can often guess your way around the options, but they can be irritating if there are too many levels of menus to move around. With, with a command line interface, you can go to the option required immediately. Menu-driven interfaces are often found in iPods and MP3 players, mobile phones, television menus, game consoles, sat-navs, ATMs, self-service machines, web pages, and word processors.